ICE agents swept through several businesses across Mississippi yesterday, rounding up nearly 700 immigrant workers, whom officials say are not documented. In a coordinated sting, hundreds of federal agents showed up with search warrants at seven food processing plants in six cities across the state, part of what officials say was a year-long investigation into illegal employment of immigrants. Today, a spokesman for ICE says more than 300 people have already been released from custody, but will still have to appear in court. Joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, member of the House Judiciary and Homeland Security Committees. Congresswoman, welcome. It's always good to see you. What do you know about these raids? Because, I mean, there are even alarming reports from USA Today that uh, parent, uh, school teachers in Mississippi are concerned that parents won't be home, that school children are going to be sent home from school to empty, ho empty houses. Um, what do you know about the coordination at, at all for human services there? Well, Andrew, just from the emotional standpoint, uh, before I arrived uh, at the studio, uh, speaking to one of my Hispanic friends, happens to be a business person, and I, I can't capture for you the emotion of this uh, individual uh, with El Paso and all that is going on. Uh, what poor timing uh, the President of the United States decides uh, to take his uh, very untoward and dastardly policies uh, that are made to scare and intimidate not just those who are engaged uh, in this uh, roundup, uh, but all across the nation. Now, let me be very clear. We understand that this is a land of immigrants and a land of laws. However, this process of raids have been used in the past, and they are wrongheaded and ineffective. Every one of those persons has an address. Uh, we're living in the community openly. Their children were going to school, and every one of them could have been appropriately rounded up in some other location. They were not escapees or felons, uh, as uh, President Obama uh, focused on, people who would do harm to the United States. These are people who are working. And not only that, uh, the uh, wrongness, if you will, uh, is on uh, the uh, business uh, that didn't process these people in the right manner. But I would say for the agricultural business, they've been begging for us uh, to find ways for them to have workers in meat plants and other plants around the country. So I am on Homeland Security. Um, I think it's unfortunate when ICE has to be made into this kind of agency uh, and to be an intimidator rather than an agency that has in the past made sure that we are safe in this nation. That is what Americans want, to be safe. But when their neighbors are rounded up in a vile way, when children are left unprotected, uh, I'm disappointed. And the president uh, and Steve Miller need to stop these Gestapo tactics, and we need to work together to pass comprehensive immigration reform. And there's another major departure now from the State Department, and I know it doesn't come under your purview at Homeland, but we've had the resignation of the Assistant Secretary of State for Latin America, and according to multiple reports, she clashed with Stephen Miller on Guatemala on the recent decision to force uh, people seeking asylum to go to Guatemala first, which is completely unprepared to handle these influxes before seeking asylum, instead of it seeking asylum here in the United States, which has been guaranteed under international law, under our laws and under treaties. Um, do you know anything more about this? This is a, a major departure. This is a woman who had been in the George W. Bush NSC, had been a CIA uh, analyst or official in the past, and Kimberly Breyer was ex extremely qualified and now a, met another huge vacancy in a top State Department position for all of Latin and, and South America. Andrea, a great public servant. Let me, first of all, give her my expressions of appreciation uh, for the work uh, that she has done. Uh, this, again, is a, an example, a poor example of poor leadership, uh, and it is what we find as members of Congress in every agency. The experts, the professionals, are thrown out because they give countering advice. He has a dangerous team in the White House, led by Mr. Miller, who doesn't see immigrants in any other way. Apparently, he has lost his way and has never been to the Statue of Liberty. He's never known those of us who have had our relatives, if you will, come from other places. Uh, and we've had now the privilege of being public servants. She was right. Guatemala is not prepared uh, to handle those, to take uh, the uh, process, the asylum 
uh, process and to allow individuals to have to stay in, a, in Guatemala, which is a poor country, which is suffering from violence in and of itself and doesn't have uh, the infrastructure to deal with something as crucial as asking for asylum. This is nothing more than the president pushing off uh, the responsibilities of this nation, uh, being, uh, in, es in essence, insulting to the immigrant process or the idea of America's uh, foundation being built on those who have come from faraway places and have contributed to the excitement of this nation from Silicon Valley to the railroads uh, to medicine uh, to education. Immigrants have come uh, to those who've been our inventors and made a big difference in this nation. I'm saddened that we have turned this country upside down. This is wrong. Uh, I'd like to find a way to bring uh, her back, uh, but most of all to thank her and to stop Steve Miller Stop him from characterizing this country as a Gestapo and a hater of immigrants. And that is the cause, if you will, of the heinous acts in El Paso that I am still mourning for those in El Paso and in Dayton and elsewhere, but in El Paso in particular because of the manifesto and the attribution uh, to the actions and words of this administration that might have propelled this individual along with H. Shan and other uh, devastating sites to do this horrible and irreparable action. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, thank you so much. And we'll hope we'll talk to you soon on a number of the other subjects that you've been working on. Thank you very much, Congresswoman. Thank you. I and look forward to talking to you on at reparations, H.R. 40. Thank you. Thank you.